And the Dabrinic Channel is back, and today we are talking about the Mississippi River. We will be talking about the Colorado River as well, and there is plenty to talk about and some worry along the Mississippi River. Things are getting very interesting very fast, and we have a big-time flooding going on on the Mississippi River. We have more snow and rain coming to Colorado, and we have to get going right on this. This is crazy. There is flooding right here along the Mississippi River that is causing big-time problems, and that's That leads me to Escape with Jay, my buddy. He lives up in Minnesota, and he was out yesterday getting footage of this. I didn't realize there was a flood going on in northern Minnesota until I seen his video. So I texted him and asked him, and I was like, hey, can I use some of your video tonight? He is trying to grow his channel, and if you guys like kayaking, he has a ton of videos on kayaking, but he was out getting footage of the flooding, and that was really generous of him to let me use this. Now, thanks again. Escape with Jay is where you want to go. I will leave the link below so you can check it out. He lives up in Minnesota and there is plenty of flooding going on and there's more rain in the next 10 days. Check this out. Up close over here to Mississippi, 1.73 on top of all the rain they have been getting. St. Paul's just 7.3. La Crosse down here is not going to get much, but this is the... GFS and it's been pretty accurate this year so I'm just mainly using this look at this but you got this flooding coming down here and then you got Omaha with flooding coming as well into St. Joe and this is all going to hit towards St. Louis here and cause big time floodings up in Hannibal, Burlington, Davenport, Iowa up here, Carrollton, Kansas City and Columbia. Furthermore you have a ton of rain coming here into like Wichita, Kansas, Tulsa, Oklahoma and Fayette, Arkansas mountain home over here. You're having a lot of rain in and then over here on this side of the Ohio, you have a ton of precipitation coming as well that could potentially cause flooding. Now, luckily, there's no snow. A lot of this happens to be snow melt. And then you have this coming at the right time. There could be a possibility that within the next month or so, you could have big problems down here if things continue to go that way. We'll have to be waiting to see what happens because they're even getting a ton of precipitation over through here and then up here. So this all could possibly hit all at the right time causing big time problems here and something we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on. Before we go over to Colorado and start talking about those rivers, let's go see where the flooding's already happening. We're at the National Weather Service here and you can see that you're in major flood stage up here and this is crazy. Not only here but in South Dakota as well. Now the Missouri's not too bad as we scoot in. There is some precipitation but there's a lot of rain coming which ultimately will make its way down the river but we scoot in here towards there you, you have some in the purple scoot way in here you can see that's at 22.14 and then Davenport Iowa check this out we'll scoot in here and you can see that at the Rock Island there they're gonna possibly maybe potentially even break a record they're at they're forecasting right now at 21.7 and this will be next Monday so I might take a road trip up there this weekend and get some video of that that would be very interesting be good for the channel to get some video of that and then right here in Leclerc they're talking about 16 and their their flood stage is at 17.8 we scoot down and you can see that it starts to dwindle at Illinois City 21.2 they're not calling for near as much so the record's 24 so it's three feet underneath the record but then you get down here towards St. Louis and right now St. Louis is all in the clear as we scoot down here towards St. Louis here and you can see that their flood stage is currently in irrelevant but it is starting to climb it will be at 21.3 feet by Sunday so you have a bunch of water heading your way now as the river deepens it the flooding gets less and you can see like at Clarksville they're going to just get to moderate flood stage that's in question if they get this rain on top of it it will start to go you can see that at Hannibal Missouri they're going to get almost a moderate flood stage they're going to be definitely a moderate minor flood stage now the Illinois River doesn't look too shabby so that's good news for St. Louis the Missouri River at Jefferson city here you can see that it, it's all over the place it's nowhere near flood stage whatsoever so something we're going to have to keep an eye on and then as time goes on it's definitely going to be problematic now there's no flooding going on here in the colorado river thus far because the snow is still locked up well let's go to windy.com and i show you what i'm talking about the snow is still locked up there we go to new snow and you can see that the colorado R river still getting snow they're still going to get 
a ton of precipitation here so we'll have to be watching this we'll have to be watching you can see all the snow has see that they're still calling for snow in minnesota let's go look at let's see how much snow's on the ground currently we'll see what the snow depth currently is and you can see that most of the snow depth is starting to melt there's still some up here by Lake Itasca up here, close to the beginning of the Mississippi River. And that, that's right here. That's where Lake Itasca, as you can see that there's a little patch of 8.7 there, but most of it has melted. Now, you can see over here in Colorado that they have a ton of snow up in near on the Green River there. And then over here, they have a ton of snow as well. They have 48 inches. And then over in Vail, they have quite a bit. So you guys need to be heads up here. This They're talking that the lake may rise 30 plus feet both both reservoirs i'll see it when i believe it but hopefully they do 34 inches there in between lake powell and lake mead so we'll be watching that and over there on the mountain to the west of vegas they have 10.9 inches so a good start tell you rides got a decent amount of snow they're talking about almost 50 inches of snow there in tell you ride so that's pretty good that is what's going on there let's go look and see how much this translates to snow there in Colorado. You can see that 154.8 above and, and in 2019 they were at 130. So they have received more. You can see it got a little bump there. They got a little bump there and they got more coming so they could probably get another bump somewhere along the way. You can see it's starting to melt somewhat and I assure you in Lake Navajo it's really come up way up and I'm not going to talk about Lake Navajo Flaming Gorge or any of those tonight but I'll be back this weekend with that let's go out to Lake Powell's water level as we roll out to Lake Powell you can see that 2021 22 and 23 and here it comes and look at this we are above 2022 for the first time in quite a long time this is great news and we will take it things are starting to look up we have all this water coming in just like I told you just as I've been advertising and some people are predicting that the lake could possibly jump up 33 feet that's incredible and now we go out to Lake Powell's outflows and inflows and we get a new graph here and you can see the outflows are currently 9,767 which is incredible for this time of year generally they're holding back a lot more water than that they're sending that down to Lake Mead and that's really good news and that lake will come up as well your inflows are currently 29,377 and your percentage of capacity is 22.87 percent of capacity and now we go out to the water levels next. This is Lake Powell's water level. The current water level is 3,525.31 feet MSL Sunday, April 23rd, 2023 at 12 a.m. The level is 174.69 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday, this thing's up 0.62. Now we're going to go down to Lake Mead. This is a short version tonight you're not getting all the great details like you normally do as we roll out to lake mead you can see 2021 22 and 23 and here's your graphs and look at this this lake is not falling like it normally does usually this time of year it is on the downhill slide but not this year ladies and gentlemen it is actually starting to come up and this is fantastic news and this will continue to trend upwards and we will take it for sure this is fantastic news for a change and we continue to roll on here here. We go to Lake Mead's outflows and inflows and your current outflows are 13,176 and your current inflows are 17,466 and percentage of capacity is 28.88% of capacity. The water level at Lake Mead is 1,047.21 feet MSL Monday. April 24, 2023 at 4 p.m. The level is 181.79 feet below full pool of 1,229 and changes since yesterday. This thing has come up 0 0.10 feet and we go down to Lake Havasu for the final stop tonight. As we roll out to Lake Havasu, you can see it's coming 21, 22, and 23. Hope all is well. Here is this year's level. That's last year's level and the red is 2021. You can see that it's changed quite a bit. Now we go to your outflows in your inflows at Lake Havasu. Your current outflows are 9,767 and your current inflows are 29,377. Got a lot coming in compared to what's going on. And percentage of capacity there is 92.56% 
of capacity. And once again, go check out Escape with Jay. His videos are awesome, and he is a good friend of mine, and we chat all the time. This man has traveled down the Mississippi River on a kayak. Go check it out. That's really, really interesting, really, really cool, and he's a really good dude, and we have chatted more than once, and he started following my channel back in the day, and what a fantastic guy that guy is. Anyway, you guys have a blessed day, and we will see you soon, and we'll probably be back this weekend with a full Colorado River update. God bless.